There's nothing more relaxing on a sunny afternoon than tuning in to 99.9's Drive Time Show and listening to soothing voice of Bimi Olatiru Olagbegi. Charming, intelligent, and beautiful, Bimi has become the hottest on-air personality on Nigeria's airwaves. Tune in as we jump into Bimi's wonderful world of music, gossip, and entertainment. On Facebook and we're on Twitter at the beat and 999 FM. Up next, I've got Carly Ray Jepsen with Call Me Maybe. I hear she's going to be working with LMFAO and she's very, very excited about that. I wonder what that's going to sound like. It's 17 minutes past five. Check it out. Okay, um, I'm a radio on air personality. That's one of the things I do. You can, they call them radio jocks, they call them, uh, some people say presenters, but an honor personality is there because of the way they are. I am, I don't read the news at this particular station, I have before at a previous station, but I am here to talk about everything, topical issues, entertainment, gossip, serious topics. I'm here to talk about the music, what's hot, what's not. You are kind of like... You know, the mouthpiece, they want to know, yes, they know the news, but they want to hear it from someone, and it's the way you put it, it's the way you say it, it's the way you interact with the audience, like you're speaking to your friends, pretty much. The mic is my friend, basically. <laughs> the type of program I anchor on the Beat 99.9 FM is the Drive Time Show. Basically, people are on their way home from school, from work, they're in traffic, they've had crappy days, you know. I'm there to play music, uh, speak with them, and lift their spirits. It's nice to have that um, friendly voice on the radio, that person who's cracking you or making you laugh, just speaking to you, you know, as if it's just one-on-one, -on -one, that sort of thing. So that's basically what my show is like. I just edited a call, the call came through. I'm also going to speak after this song and I'm preparing in my mind what uh, I'm going to say. Also, sometimes I have a pen and a paper and just jot down a few things. We're very interactive at the station. We don't just rely on the phone lines like other stations. We do Facebook, we do Twitter, we do 33999. That is basically the SMS platform. Some stations have producers that do everything for you. Some stations have DJs that do everything for you. Right here, right now, you're your producer, your DJ, you're your on-air personality. So I'm, I have my eye on the clock, counting down here. That tells me I have three minutes left, pretty much. So, you know, I need to prepare myself and make sure that I'm ready for three minutes. If I'm going to play another song, I play another song. If not, you know, uh, or if I'm going to speak, I just prepare myself and make sure that I'm ready, pretty much. Also have my eyes on the phone lines, just to make sure that in case anybody calls in, um, I'm, I can catch it and quickly take the call, edit it, and we're ready to go from there. So. Wonderful collabo right there from Usher and Rick Ross with Let Me See. It is 15 minutes past 5 p.m. We're going to be here on the Drive Time Show on the Beat 99.9 FM. The news guy is here. He has to give us the headlines really quick. I give him his space. He does his thing. We'll go back to the show. You know, each show has its set times for news, set times for different programs. So I know when to, to fill it up with music, I know when to speak. Um, I know, for instance, I just checked on the site and I got some news about an artist. So I'm about to play her song. If I'm about to speak about her, then play her song. That's good radio. This is Bemi. What is your name? My name is Alright. Uh, okay. Bemi, I, lo I love your voice. I've been listening to your program. I'm on this my phone thanks for calling 99.9. Thank you. Alright, alright, nice talking to you. Thank you for listening all the way from London. <laughs> okay, take care. Okay. Bye. Um, the reason why we don't do calls live is because anybody can call in and say anything. They can curse, they can swear on air. And we don't want to get in trouble with NBC. You know, we also owe it to our uh, listeners to 
to try and make sure that listening to the radio is not offensive for them, you know. So what we do is we listen to the calls, um, sometimes as this here helps me boost the calls, basically boost the volume, edit some things just to make sure that the, the listener passes his or her message across. Sometimes some calls can last for three minutes or so. I don't have to air the entire three minutes. I can cut it down to one minute. What makes my job fun and enjoyable is that it's unpredictable. You know, anybody could come up with any points from the phone lines or either it's Facebook or Twitter or whatever it is. You have to be on your toes. You cannot be a person who um, doesn't focus, doesn't pay attention, you know. Uh, so you need to basically know what's going on in the world, know what's going on in your environment, know what to say and when to say it. Uh, you can't curse on air, you know. Uh, so if that's a part of your voc vocabulary, you have to make sure that that doesn't come on air. Now there's a callers who call you and tell you they love you. It's part of the job pretty much. So it keeps me on my toes. To share your unique ideas and to watch more incredible, inspiring African stories, like Notion on Facebook and follow on Twitter.